suggest fashion 101 so valentine's day is right on the corner we all want to go out with our boyfriends husbands whatever our significant other whoever we're dating so here is a little tutorial on how to get a super fun easy little going out date night look and it's super simple i only used one color and i only used another one like a tiny bit and i hope you guys find this very helpful so i hope you guys really enjoy it so to start off this look, I'm going to moisturize my face with this Farsali oil. And this is the first time I've ever tried it, so I was very excited to put it on my face. So we're going to start with the Meet Matte Nude Palette. And I'm going to use the pink color for the crease. And I've already prepped my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. You want to make sure that you blend it out very, very well because you're going to build on top of it to make it very pink. Now I'm going to use that same pink on the actual lid. For some reason it looks a little bit lighter on my skin because I didn't concentrate it as much so it was perfect. Then we're going to go into the Pure Trolls palette and I'm going to use the coral color to deepen the crease a little bit more. Once again blending the two colors is going to be key to get that seamless color. For this look I decided not to do eyeliner so I had to do eyelashes. I'm using these Ardell Double Up Lashes and they just give the look something that very, very Valentine's Day. Now for some reason I've had these huge breakouts on my chin area so I want to obviously hide those and I use this Laura Mercier Camouflage Concealer that works perfectly for that. Once I've covered that up I'm mixing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and the Fenty Beauty Foundation together so that I get this flawless complexion and of course I hide my breakouts even more. Now I'm diving into a little bit of contouring and brightening so I'm using this Morphe palette and I'm using the lightest colors to highlight so underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and then I'm going into contour obviously on the cheek area and then on the nose and of course on the forehead. Now to blend it all out I'm going to use my beauty blender. So the key to this is to make sure that you're bouncing the beauty blender on your skin so that you don't move the product around. Now I want to seal everything that I just put on so I'm going to use the Laura Mercier powder with the beauty blender again and just bake a little bit as well. Now I thought the lashes looked a little bit funky so I went in with a black eyeliner and just tight lined on the top and then I used a normal liquid liner and just tightened the areas that looked a little sparse. Now I'm going to go back with the original pink color that I used from the Meat Matte Nude palette and just use that underneath my lash line and then I also went in and used the Trolls Pure Cosmetics color as well and then finally used a little bit of mascara to lengthen the eyelashes and then went in with the Becca Cosmetic Champagne Pop and highlighted a little bit more. For the brows just using some Essence Tinted eyebrow gel to keep it simple. Lastly I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Palette and using a little bit on the contour side and then for blush I'm using the Bombs Frat Boy and just using a fluffy brush to blend everything out. For the lips I'm using Kylie Cosmetics Coco K and I thought it was the perfect touch for this whole look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video and as always love you guys toodles and have an amazing Valentine's Day. Oh, the